Oh, you love Asian women? I've never heard that one before. What's up guys, it's me, Lori. And today I wanna to talk about that all too common pickup line that every Asian sister out there knows and has heard before, which is the I love Asian women pitch. I'm not trying to put a video out there today saying that every guy who has ever uttered this phrase is a bad person, but I will tell you right now that it doesn't work, so don't say it anymore. I don't like being told by someone that they like Asian women because by telling me that you are attracted to the color of my skin implies that you think you already know something about me because of the way I look and are uninterested in who I really am. It also signals to me that you probably have a lot of stereotypes about what you think being Asian actually means and who the fuck wants to be stereotyped? When I used to be on online dating sites, I would get messages almost daily from guys saying that they loved Asian women. I ignored a lot of them and sometimes I responded and my responses weren't always mean because I do realize that some guys aren't really thinking that deeply about the messages that they're sending out and they're probably just ignorant about the issue and don't know that it offends me. And when it does seem like a guy is sincerely well-meaning, I always do let them know because even if I'm not gonna be the one, I want to inform them for the next time they decide to approach an Asian girl. The funny thing is though, when I respond and tell a guy nicely that, hey, this pickup line is kind of offensive, they're almost always offended themselves. Like it wasn't good enough for them to hear feedback from someone that what they said was offensive. They wanted to dictate to me how I should feel about the way they approached me. And that is just like an automatic no thank you. Cause let's be honest, to be told that someone is offended by something you said and then to not care is just further proof that you have absolutely no interest in who that person is and what that person is about. There I am telling you, hey, I don't actually like it when men say that to me. And rather than hear me out, you want to insult me and tell me I'm oversensitive and all this other stuff because what, you're hoping I'm gonna like you? One guy actually tried to save himself by saying, hold up, you didn't listen to the reason why I like Asian women. I like them because of their culture, which props to him for trying, but that just put his ignorance on display. Cause the thing about liking Asian culture is that Asian culture doesn't exist. There are like 48 different countries in Asia and most of them speak different languages and have vastly different cultures. Saying to an Asian American woman that you like Asian culture is like walking up to a person who looks Mexican and telling him that you like the tango. And the ironic thing was the guy who said that to me was actually Latino, so he should have known. There is such a thing as Asian American culture, which has really nothing to do with our heritage and everything to do with being raised in a country where people constantly treat us like foreigners even though we're not and basically treating us like aliens because we have slanted eyes. I mean, if there's one thing that I have in common with every other Asian American woman out there, it's that some guy has stepped to me saying that he loves Asian women. So there's your Asian culture. The bottom line is when you say that you like women or men of an entire race, it's just a weird thing to say. It assumes that there isn't diversity within races. I was born and raised in New York, first of all, and I look East Asian because I'm a mix of Taiwanese and Japanese heritage. But even among East Asian women, like women with black hair and brown eyes, there's women with curly hair and straight hair, there's tall ones and short ones and fat ones and skinny ones, there's East Asian women with big eyes and little eyes and good skin and bad skin. So if a guy were to try to sell me on the idea that, hey, he just likes the way Asian women look, he wouldn't even be able to do that because we all look different. I guess I could clarify that Asian women from Asia probably mind this whole situation a lot less than Asian American women do because they come from countries where they don't have to think about race constantly. They come from countries where most people look just like them. And when they think of Europeans, they think of Germans with blonde hair and blue eyes, and it makes perfect sense to them that people would stereotype them based on the way they look. But we're in America, which is just as much my country as anyone else who was born here, and where there's no such thing as looking American. So when you're Asian American like me, even if you didn't choose to think about race all the time, you'd have no choice because people never let you forget it. So there you have it. I've got a lot more to say on this topic, but I'm gonna just cut it off right there. That is probably my biggest pet peeve when it comes to the way people approach me and with pickup lines and everything. There are lots of ineffective ways to try and approach someone of the opposite gender and try to catch their attention, uh, most of which I think are forgivable, but this one just really gets to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the one that sets me off, this is the one that makes me feel compelled to let people know why what they're saying is racially insensitive and not cool. So hopefully some of the guys that I talked to after they got over their initial anger sort of you know, took that to heart and learned their lesson and learned how to sort of consider the human being that they're interacting with rather than just being offended 
by another person being offended. Anyway, I would love to hear stories from you guys about good or bad pickup lines that you've given or received, what your pet peeves are when it comes to like typical things that people say to you when they're trying to get your attention. And of course, if you have not subscribed, please click subscribe below and I will see you guys next week. Bye.